Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and it is currently June, which means it's time to go over what was the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine throughout the entire month of May. In this series, we're pitting six RTX 3060s against six RX 6600 XTs from AMD, trying to just help us draw conclusions on possibly what cryptocurrencies we should mine in the future. Now, unfortunately, at the tail end of May, um, we had a lot of ups and downs, you know, that first week, end of May, early June, uh, we got a lot of just moving sideways. The market's stagnant, profits aren't as good as they should be, um, and the market is still down. It has not picked up. So if you had six 3060s, uh, you were just sitting pretty good, anywhere from $3 to $6 a day. Uh, if you had the 6600 XT, anywhere from, you know, $3 up to $5 a day, depending on that day and the market conditions of course ethereum is still one of the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine no matter which uh whether you're on amd or nvidia but however the lower end nvidia cards uh even though uh hash rate as far as locks from nvidia are concerned has been broken nvidia is trying to combat that with new updates and stuff like that it still is not as relevant as it was at the early stages and so we're seeing some of these lower end cards do better with other algorithms like Ciro, Ergo, Conflux, whatever it may be on the NVIDIA side, while AMD, of course, Ethereum is still the top coin. To go over the data, here's what we got. The top 10 most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine throughout the month of May, the entire full month of May, all 31 days, were as follows. Ethereum, Ciro, Conflux, Ergo, Ravencoin, Xano, Firo, Cortex, Eternity and Flux. Now, Ethereum Classic was very close there. It had a nice little pump towards the middle of the month, but then fell back down with Beam and Aeon only making it halfway through the month in the top 10, or a little bit less than halfway in the top 10. Now, on the AMD side of things, the top 10 are as follows Ethereum, Ravencoin, Firo, Ryo, Equilibra, Ethereum Classic, Cortex, Conceal, Ergo and flux quirk chain again uh was very profitable throughout most of the month but wasn't consistently in the top 10 with ether one and vert coin following up so the trend is ethereum is still one of the most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine we haven't yet had the merge happen we are monitoring that situation i've done some updates on my channel including on caffeine and crypto a weekly live stream that i do every saturday but we're going to monitor that and keep an eye on things as the merge continues to move forward. Still looking like August, September, uh, but we'll have to wait and see, get some more updates, and we'll see how things pan out. But it does look like Ethereum is still very profitable, whether you have AMD or NVIDIA. Yes, there are other options on NVIDIA that take that number one, number two, or number three spot like Ciro or Ergo. But it really depends on the market conditions, time of day, stuff like that. So the, the, the data is fluctuating but the most consistent is Ethereum. Now, Ciro is a more heavily uh, Asian uh, cryptocurrency. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but there's not as many pools. There's not as many uh, markets, exchanges that accept that cryptocurrency. But you could mine it and mine it profitably and hang on to it or sell it and pay for your electric, whatever you want to do. Conflux has been on the top section of NVIDIA or at least the top 10 of NVIDIA. Ergo, Ravencoin, those have been flopping back and forth. And Flux has fallen quite significantly on the NVIDIA side of things. Firo still up there. Xano, another Prog Pal variant, up, uh, up there in the top 10. And then Ethereum Classic is also very profitable for both AMD and NVIDIA. So Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Ravencoin, Firo, and then we have our, our like Ryo, Equilibra, Conceal, which are Kryptonite underscore GPU algorithms, which have been consistently in the top 10 they may not be number one number two but they have been consistently in the top 10 so you can mine those projects profitably flux still in the top 10 but dropping quite significantly over time over the past couple months ergo still still staying in there maybe not as much on amd more on nvidia side but still very profitable projects to keep uh mining 
and paying for your electric, recouping some losses, maybe buying extra hardware, more GPUs, whatever it may be. We all mine for various reasons, various things, but that is the data for the month of May. I hope you got some useful information out of this video. If you did, please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit notification bell to stay up to date. So let's check out links in the description. They'll support the channel and what we do here. And besides that, you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.